video, let us discuss the relationship between zeros and coefficients of a polynomial. We do this with our example, quadratic polynomial x square minus 8x plus 15. Now, first we find the zeros of this polynomial by the method of factorization. So, x square minus 8x plus 15 should become 0 for values of x, factors of 15, 5 threes are 15. Now, since negative minus 8 is there here, minus 5 minus 3. So, by splitting of middle term, x square minus 5x minus 3x plus 15 is equal to 0, x of x minus 5 minus 3 of x minus 5 is equal to 0. So, which is nothing but x minus 5 of x minus 3 is equal to 0. So, x values are 5 or 3 otherwise we can say the two zeros for the polynomial x square minus 8x plus 15 is 5 and 3 and let me donate, denote it as alpha as 5 and beta as 3. So, I am considering alpha and beta as the two zeros of this polynomial x square minus 8x plus 15 which are nothing but 5 and 2. Now, the general form of the equation of the quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c. Let me compare this polynomial with the general form. We get a value is equal to coefficient of x square which is 1, b is coefficient of x here b value minus h and c value constant term here constant term is 15. Now the two zeros are alpha is equals to 5 and beta is equals to 2. The sum of these zeros alpha plus beta is nothing but 5 plus 2 sorry. 2 x values alpha is 5 and beta value is 3 not 2. So, beta value is 3. So, alpha plus beta 5 plus 3 which is 8. Now, we can observe that sum of these zeros 8 is nothing but minus b by a that is negative of coefficient of x over coefficient of x square that is minus coefficient of x is b which is minus 8 by coefficient of x square is 1. So, which is minus 8. So, we observe that sum of the zeros is equals to here coefficient of x is minus 8 and again outside one negative sign is there. So, negative of negative 8 which will become positive 8. So, the sum of the zeros after finding the zeros we got sum of the zeros as 5 plus 3 8 directly from the equation we can get the sum of the zeros as minus b by a which is nothing but minus of minus 8 by 1 which is 8. Similarly, the product of the zeros is nothing but 5 threes are 15 and we can observe from the equation this is nothing but c by a, c value is constant term that is 15, a is coefficient of x square, so which is 1. So, c by a is 15 and product of the zeros 15. So, we can conclude that the sum of the zeros of the polynomial is nothing but minus b by a and product of the zeros of the polynomial, quadratic polynomial is c by a.